When you kick, should your foot be elevated? Should the heel be elevated or should you be flat? If you're already making a decision in your head and you go, this is the answer, it's one or the other, you are already wrong. It is not as simple as that. We need to go through all the different kicks, all the different ways to throw those kicks, and then from there we can start deciding, okay, on a knee, do I elevate? Do I not? On a round kick to head level versus a round kick to low kick level, what do I do? On a front kick, does the guy coming towards me, is he away? There are so many elements which we need to address and we're gonna go through all the different kicks, all the different heights and make sure that you understand what you should be doing with your feet as you kick ball of the foot or flat of the foot. There is no right or wrong, it's not black and white. One works and one doesn't. We need to mix it up and go to the ideal position depending on what we are throwing. So we're running through a whole series of kicks to make sure that we understand should we be elevating to the ball of the foot or should we be staying flat footed upon landing the kick. We're gonna talk about what we're doing when the strike lands. Keep in mind that if you're going to initiate a pivot, your heel should be disconnecting from the floor. You cannot execute a good pivot with a flat foot. We lift very slightly. Sometimes when we throw maybe a round kick, we'll lift very high and we'll get that heel way up. Sometimes when we throw something, we're just gonna disconnect our heel by about a millimeter and just slide it and then re-land on the ground to get flat. Let's start with a front kick. It's like the first kick that we learn when we walk into a martial arts dojo, gym, whatever. We're in our fighting stance. We want to get the most range out of the kick. Remember, if I don't pivot my foot, this is my range. Once I pivot, I can get much further. So I want to get that pivot done. I want to land my kick with the heel on the ground. Why do I do this? Because it's gonna stop me from getting knocked backwards. If I hit somebody square on and I'm on the ball of my foot, most likely I'm gonna fall backwards after. I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to elevate the heel slightly, roll my kick over, land flat footed, and then finish my kick with a flat foot, lots of power, and then come back to my stance. For the front kick, in my opinion, whether it's up to head level, or body level, or even down to the knee, I'm gonna land that kick with a flat foot. Next, we move on to the roundhouse kick. The roundhouse kick is probably one of the most common ones that we will see in fight sports because it creates loads of power, but there are different times to elevate the heel, and there are also times to stay flat footed, depending on the height. If you are coming up to body level, in my opinion, you want your kick angle to be coming upwards very slightly. This means if you can elevate through the ball of the foot as you kick, you're going to help increase the power of your kick. So when I throw my round kick, when I land my round kick, I want to be high ball of the foot. If I'm throwing a low kick, I'm gonna do the same thing that we did before on a front kick. I'm going to pivot, but I'm going to land with my heel down because I'm coming either across or dropping down very slightly. I'm not worried about elevating myself because the kick is coming more or less this direction. I land flat footed, I land elevated. If I'm going up to head level, most likely for myself, I'm gonna land Elevate it again, but this one can come a little bit more crossing or even with a drop. So occasionally you could land with your heel flat on the ground. That is a personal preference, but I am usually gonna have the ball of the foot off the floor for those head level round kicks. Next, we move into a side kick. In my opinion, this is very similar to the front kick. We are trying to force our opponent backwards. So when we throw it, we want to have that heel dug into the floor, balls of the feet on the floor, everything completely flat. Doesn't matter if I'm sliding up or if I'm using a defensive one, foot flat on the ground, so I am stable. Next, we're moving into knees. This is one where a lot of people make a mistake, in my opinion. I'll see them here, they'll throw their knee, and they'll stay flat-footed. What does this do? Negatively, it's going to diminish our power and decrease the range at which we can throw this technique. So if I keep my foot flat, you'll note this is my distance. Now when I elevate, look what I can do. I can poke so much further through. Heel down, 
heel up, getting that extra range. And what I want to remember is extra follow through with speed, of course, is going to equal more power. So as you throw your knees, and especially when you land, try to elevate through the ball of the foot. And this one, you can actually go fairly high. It doesn't need to be like, oh, I'm just going to elevate a tiny bit. Really try and get up high so that you're poking straight through with that knee, creating maximum force. And then most likely on the spinning kicks, we're going to go for a slight, slight elevation, something like a spinning hook kick. If I go to throw my spinning hook kick and I wheel around and I drop my heel, I'm going to kind of get stuck. I'm not going to be able to complete my rotation. So as I spin, I get to the ball of my foot. I come right around and I start dropping. I elevate, 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 drop, 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 get back to where I started. Oh, and I lost my balance there. This one's a little bit harder with the lack of range here in the space, but you can note this lead foot here. I come around, I turn, I'm up and I drop. So hard with not hitting this stuff. All right, around whoop, and down right at the end. Spinning side kick, same as before, I'll rotate, I'll land flat footed and then I'll come back out or I'll throw my spinning side kick, heel down, step down, foot flat. Either of those are fine, but this gives you a general understanding about what we want to do with our feet when we throw our kicks elevated or flat footed. It depends in my opinion on the strike. In general, a good rule of thumb to remember is if I'm coming with a kick down the middle, I want to be flat footed so that if their weight comes into me or I'm focused on trying to move them backwards, I have a lot of connection to the floor, which is gonna help me stay stable. If I'm trying to kick on an angle or trying to knee, I want to elevate because the force of the technique is going to increase with that little pop through the foot. Just coming up is gonna help increase the power just a little bit. So thanks for joining today, everybody. As always, train hard, and I will see you back here soon for another video.